Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of my Final Fantasy VII video walkthrough. Today I bring to you Part 7, and a little recap in the last episode. We palled around with Sally for a little longer, and she decided in the end to escort me to Sector 7 to uh, Becca's bar. And uh, still separated with everyone, so, uh, wow, these guys are doing a lot of damage. Sorry to get sidetracked, but, um, yeah, so we're going to Sector 7, gonna try to meet up with the old buds, and, uh, yeah, these guys are picking me apart. I did do some, uh, off-screen leveling, and, uh, so I'll show you the, the little upgrades I got in a second. Let me just take care of these nasty buggers. They, uh... I've been noticing they, they've they been liking to attack me from both sides, and that... I don't know, that might be why they're doing so much damage to me, but... These guys are doing 60, 60 damage a pop! Ooh! And they're fast, too. But... Ooh! Look at that! I got a new limit break for Ares. And, um... Yeah, let's check that out. Seal evil. Constrains and stop the magic of all opponents. Uh, so it's just like silence. It makes it so they can't use magical spells, which is cool, but not as cool as Blade Beam, which is uh, just an attack that hits all targets. Very useful. Let's continue on, though. You know there's not really any treasure worthwhile in this place, so I'm just going to head up to the other side and progress this storyline, because it's so compelling and interesting. The gate to Sector 7's in there. Thanks, I guess this is goodbye. You gonna be alright? You going home? You going? Uh, let's, uh, let's see you home. Um, I'm done with you. Isn't that a little out of the way? Yeah, I guess so. Can we take a break? I guess so. Where we going? Where we going? I'm impatient. Yeah. What do you got? I can't believe it's still here. Oh, the little slide? I guess it is a nice slide. And over here. Okay. Duh. Okay. Look at me shrug with those blocky arms. Oh, is this gonna get weird? Oh. As I explained in the last episode, I named Ares after my mother, Sally. But it's already getting too awkward for words. Oh. What rank were you? Rank? You know, in Soldier. Oh, I was... First class? I have these weird psychotic flashbacks. Or it, uh... It's always weird every time. Just the same as him. Same as who? Who? My first boyfriend. Oh, well, what am I? You're my mom. This isn't right. You were serious? You too? No, but I liked him for a while. I probably knew him. What was his name? It uh, doesn't really matter. Mm, I smell something fishy with that story, but uh, who's this uh, chocobo carriage? I, I, I'm seeing. Huh? Hey, back there. Becca. Oh. What was she doing in a dress? I'm scared. That girl in the cart was Becca? Where was she going? She she looked kind of odd. You're telling me we gotta go? Oh, okay, you go first. Oh, wait. Oh, I'll go alone. You, you go home. Oh, clearly, clearly, Ian, that's not working. Ooh, super commando jump, and here we go. Off to the wall market. Now, when I first played this, I thought this was the coolest place in the game. It's so grimy. This is like, this is where the magic happens. Ooh, look at that. A regular Las Vegas of the Final Fantasy VII universe. But with a groovy steel drum background music. Loved it. Always loved the music in this game, and Wall Market was the shit. This place is scary in a lot of ways. You said it, Ma. Especially for a girl. So we gotta find Becca fast. I know. I know. Oh my god. So first I'm gonna go down here and learn the whereabouts of Becca. What in the hell? 
You shit, this ain't no shit show. I'm busy right now. I feel like there's gonna be a fight. Oh, okay. Welcome, even unpopular dweebs like you may meet their destiny here. You're looking for a girlfriend too? You know a girl named Becca? Hey, you're pretty fast. Becca's our newest girl. Mm, no. But unfortunately, she's having an interview right now. Here at the Honey Bee Inn, it's customary for all the new girls to be taken to Don Canero's mansion. Don Canero is a famous Diliante. Diliante? Now he wants to settle down and is in the market for a bride. I'm in the market for a dictionary. What? What's Diliante? Alright, so I gotta find this Don Canero guy. Boop doo doo. It's a lot of fine stores. A fine store. Place. I'm gonna stop in the weapon shop over here. Buy me up some goods. Give me a weapons guy. You got a tank in your store. Ooh. I'm gonna get Becca a new staff. Ooh. I mean, Sally a new staff. I'm gonna get Becca some knuckles. Ooh. I'm tempted to give the mithril armlet. Sure. I'll give that to uh, Sally, my dear mother. Oh yes, and ooh, some nice new weaponry. That's nice, real nice. Okay, and uh, he didn't have any weapon, did he? No. Old Ian's keeping the Buster Sword for some time. I I wonder when I do get my first new weapon. They like to. I like to keep the the trademark weapon for him in as long as possible though I remember that. What do you gotta say, Chief? This is the mansion of Don Cornero, the most powerful man in all of Wa Wild Market, Walla Walla Washington. Look, the Don's not into men, so don't let me catch you around here again. Hey, you got another cute one with you. I'm having all these guys sound like Italian mobsters, just so you know. Hey, this looks like the Don's mansion. I'll go take a look. I'll tell Becca about you. No, you, you can't! Why? You do know what kind of place this is, don't you? And what am I supposed to do? You want to go in with me? Well, being a man, that would be pretty hard. Besides, if I bust in there, it'll cause too much commotion. But I just can't let you go in alone, Mom. Oh, man. First, we need to find out if Becca's alright. What's so funny? Oh, I thought she was crying. I thought I was supposed to be supportive. She's laughing at me. Sally? Ma? Ian, why don't you dress up like a girl? It's the only way. Alright. I'm not opposed to that. Just wait, I've got a cute friend I want to bring. Sally, I can't. I'm a. Uh... You are worried about Beck, aren't you? Then come on, hurry. I guess so. Alright. Operation Tranny. Let's go. Is... Nope. We're looking for the, the dress store, I believe. You have to outfit your, uh, your character with womanly items such as a dress, a wig, the whole shebang. You can go for these uh, optional side parts like perfume and stuff like that, but uh, I think I'm just gonna go bare bones for this, for the sake of this walkthrough. Excuse me, I'd like to get a dress. Um, it might take a little time. Will that be all right? Well, what's the problem? Well, my father, the owner, has been in a slump lately. You see, he makes all the dresses, and he's a drunk. Where's your father? It's probably plastered at the bar. So, you're saying we can't get a dress until we do something about your father? Yes, I'm sorry. He's caused so much trouble. <sighs> mm. You'd help me bring him back? Well, if we don't do something, we don't get a dress, right? Really? Please help my crazy old dad. I just don't know what to do anymore. This lady's been in the store for so long. Alright, we'll do something. Let's go in. Alright, let's head to the bar. Get some drinks. Boop bow. Meanwhile, in the bar. There he is. Excuse us, are you the father of the girl at the clothing store? 
I own the clothes shop, but I ain't your father. I didn't say that. Make me some clothes. I don't make men's clothes, and I don't feel like making anything right now. Blah! Ian, you wait over there for a second. I'll try to seduce him. Why don't you go over there and have something to drink? Loosen up. You know, mister, he always said that just once he'd like to dress up like a girl, so that's why I wanted a cute dress for him. Secret. It's a secret. What? A tough looking guy like that? So how about it? Will you make him one? Might be interesting. I was getting a little bored just making regular clothes. And you'll do it for us? Yeah, alright. What kind of dress you want? Uh, something that feels soft, I guess. And that shimmers? Hmm. Got it. You know, I got a friend that has the same taste as him. I'll go talk to him. Alright, I don't know what that means, but looks like we got the dress situation on lock. Let's, uh, let's see what happened. Oh, he's behind the counter already. Sweet. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's ready. Go try it on. Whoa, that was fast. Silk dress. The most powerful piece of armor in the game. The silk dress. I can't believe they give it to you this early on. I mean, it's soft. It shimmers. Wow. Whoa, what are you doing? You're peeking. It's still not right. A wig, that's what you need. It's true, I need a wig. Um, I thought you might, so I talked to my friend about getting one. You know the gym? You'll find a lot of people there like you. Go and talk to them. <laughs> I like this sort of, uh sort of undertone like you Sally what what did you tell him doesn't matter anyhow we got a pretty dress let's go now we're gonna go talk to some uh, cross cross-dressing muscle builders at the gym this has got to be the strangest uh, strangest club ever join the club try it with us all right, one, two, three, squats, all in rhythm. I'm doing my best, bro. How's this? All right, what do you have to say? You the one who wants to be cute? Cute? Right. And about the wig? Yeah, I heard, but it'll cost you. Grrrrg! Big bro, the only way you're gonna get cuter is if you can beat big bro. That's right. Be big bro, so you've got to compete with us. Yeah! You're right, let's do squats. Alright, we'll beat you out of this gym. Are you... The beautiful bro. What, you didn't know? Always running around here saying, Big bro this, big bro that. Never mind that, come over here. Now I'll explain the rules. From the ready position, okay. So from the ready position, push the square button to squat, X button to get back up, and O button to go back down. So you go, alright. So square, X, O. I got it. And uh, whoever gets the most squats after 30 seconds gets the wig. Alright, let's do it. Big bro wig is mine. This is just so weird. Just be quiet. Um, I don't need practice. Let's just do this. Okay, I think slow and steady. You just have to keep the rhythm. There's a certain like threshold. You can't go faster than yes, and he's messing up. I will steal this. Yes, you scratch your head. But I, I squat like a master. Yes, yes. Woo, 19 squats. You're really something. Okay, I'm a man of my word. Here you are. Blonde wig. Big bro, I'm so mad. I'm so, so mad. Boom. That she male decked him in the face. Shut up. Don't cry just because you lost. Bro's fists of steel cut to the bone. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's go to the mansion and uh, do some stuff. I wonder, do I have to go back down to the um, 
clothes shop and get get all dressed up. All right, let's do it. Aren't you going to change? Okay, I'm ready. Let's do it. And how do I look? Ooh, that's sexy. Mm, not bad. This may be a new business for me. He is so impressed. Hey, yeah, you're right. Should we try it? Thanks for showing us something new. My father's got his motivation back now. So the dress is on the house. Oh, this game rocked. Walk m more nicely, like like this, Miss Ian. What do you mean, nicely? I'm so embarrassed. Oh, you're so cute, Miss Ian. Oh, this is even weirder, because it's my mom. Uh, I want one. Do you have one that'll look good on me, too? How's this? How about that one? Father, what are you talking about? This one's much better. No, what are you saying? This one. Alright. I want this one. I'm going to change. Meh. Oh, yeah. No peeking. No won't. Jeez. Hmm. I'm not going to say anything because it's my mom. So how do I look? Don't say anything. Oh, you're no fun. Good. I'm glad my character didn't say anything weird. Alright, let's go and, uh... Let's go and, uh, fool some people into letting me in their whorehouse so I can rescue Mibeka. Damn, your friend's hot too. Come in, come in. Two ladies coming through in exclamation marks and quotation points. Hey, ladies. I'll go and let the nun know you're here. Wait here, don't go wandering around. Let's go. Now's our chance, let's find Becca. We're disobeying this guy, I don't wanna... Okay, let's go. Into the obvious dungeon room. Down the stairs, to save Becca, there she is. Oh. I'm ashamed. Come on. You're a hero, though. Me? Becca? Nice to meet you. I'm Sally. Ian's told me a lot about you. And you are? Hey, you're the one with Ian in the park. Right, with Ian. Oh. Don't worry, we just met. It's nothing. What do you mean? Don't worry about what? No, don't misunderstand. Ian and I grew up together, but nothing more. What? That's not true. Poor Ian having to stand here and listen to both of us calling him nothing. Right, Ian? Ian? No! She just thinks I'm a friend! Oh, and my mom wants to date me. This is just getting all sorts of weird. Ian! Why are you dressed like that? And what are you doing here? Forget that. What happened to you after the fall? Are you hurt? These are too many questions. Hey, give me a chance to answer. Yeah, I'm dressed like this because there was no other way to get in here. I'm alright. Sally, help me out. Oh, Sally did? Becca, explain. What are you doing in a place like this? Yeah, um... I'll just plug my ears. Yes, this is a conversation for me and Becca. Alright. I'm glad you're okay. Thanks, what happened? When we got back from the number five reactor, there was this weird man. So Big Tex caught him and squeezed some information out of him. That's when... The Don's name popped up. Right, Don Canero. Big Tex told me to leave the, the lech alone, but something's been bothering me. I see, so you wanted to get the story straight from Corneo's mouth? I keep messing up his name. So I made it here, but now I'm in a bind. Corneo is looking for a bride. Every day he gets three girls, choose one of them, and then, well, anyway, I have to be the girl or I'm out for the night. I'm dead. Sorry, but I overheard. Stop eavesdropping, Mom. If you know the three girls, there's no problem, right? I guess so, but... We have two here, right? No. No, Sally, I, I can't have you get involved. Oh, so it's alright for Becca to be in danger? No, I, I don't want Becca in danger either. I'm just torn. Is it alright? 
I grew up in the slums. I'm used to danger. All sorts of danger. Do you trust me? Yes, thanks, Miss Sally. Call me just Sally. No miss. Hey. Hey, what are you guys doing? It's time, ladies. The dawn is awaiting. Yeah. I told you not to wander around, I'll tell you, woman nowadays. Hurry up, will ya? I probably don't need to ask, but the other girl is me, right? Oh, I am so naive. You're right, there was no need. Hey, to ask. At least they still got a yeah, good sense of humor. They're gonna get suspicious if we don't hurry. Alright, well I'm gonna get this, and uh, I think I'm gonna wrap it up for this episode, so... If you guys enjoyed this, please rate, comment, like, or if you haven't subscribed to me yet, do that too. Until next time, see you later guys.